Anytime I see that. Well. I'm sure you heard that, though. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh. Oh, he oh. got you. <laughs> you got Kate, too. <laughs> Damn. Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another scary video. With yours truly, Nathan Hamilton, and of course, Mr. Sin Poppy Rick. Sporting the cool shades, by the way. Look at look at that man. Look at him right there. A ain't he handsome? Ain't he handsome? Look at him. Yeah. Uh, so we're here watching more Nukes Top 5. And the video title here, I gotta say... Top 10 scary ghost videos to scare fat men off the... Dude... Come on. I know I've got I know I've got a gut. I know I'm I know I got some pudge. But I mean, are we like what kind of fat man are we talking about here? Are we talking like this kind of fat man or are we talking like Boogie 2988 kind of fat man? Are we talking or EDP we ta fat? Oh my gosh. Uh well, it was well, it's like saying like what kind of like what kind of retarded are we talking about here? Are we talking uh, you know, are we talking, you know, dumb gamer move where someone runs into the room? Or are we talking Ricky Berwick here? I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's a, Lord, I apologize about that. <laughs> so, so I, I keep, I keep going over the title of this. It's just like, eh, hopefully it ain't talking about me. But if I see a video that features me in it somewhere, I'm just going to be like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. Bye. Never to be seen again. This is your whole channel. This, is, this video's your whole channel. Yeah, all of a sudden, he just like, he's just like, this next one is one that is rather odd. We have here a channel called Renegade Media Group. And as you can <laughs> see, they're reacting to my videos. Now that in itself is scary. But what happens next is truly terrifying. And all of a sudden, it just cuts over to me, and I'm just like... And I like burp really loud. He's just like, "Did you see it? <laughs> uh, did you hear it? Did you hear it?" Oh God, I could just see Nuke doing that as a joke, and I'm just gonna be—I I could take a joke. I don't care. I mean, two minutes into the video, Nate burped. Did you hear it? It was quite chilling. <laughs> <clears throat> oh God! Anyway, we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into the video. This is top ten scary ghost videos to scare fat men off the roof by Nukes Top Five. Here we go. Urban exploration gone wrong. Ah. Explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers. They went to the hood. What? Okay. Farmhouse in eh, West fine. York, kind of a. England. Kind of a. They went to the hood. Yeah. A farmer's wife passed away from disease inside the home. Mad with grief, the farmer took the lives of their two children while they slept in their beds. Wow, Crispin Wong. Then he took his. God damn! <laughs> oh. I just wa I watched the Dark Side of the Ring again about Chris Benoit not too long ago, and that's dude. The scene where David Chris Benoit's other son who didn't die was talking about his little brother. He's just like when we were kids, we were taught we'd talk all the time. It was just like we wanted we were gonna be tag team champions of the world. That's what we wanted. We were gonna we were gonna be tag team champions of the world. Immediately, my heart just drops to the bottom of my stomach. I'm like, damn. Oof. Damn, how can you not feel like something for this kid after everything he's gone through? His own life in the barn. The unsettling tragic history has Matt and Andy a little creeped out as they explore the building. And that's when Andy sees uh, something. This is just all a bit freaky. Let's go in the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Oh, oh, now nah, I don't know what I feel about this. Carpet. Very spongy. Very spongy carpet. Spongy. In it, it's very soft. Oh, what? Oh, my God. What? 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 Just what's in there? Look, what? Oh, what is this? <laughs> 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 that scared the shit out of me, too. Oh, 
can see it. He can. Ah, fuck. I called on that. I shot it in there and I saw that bounty and I shit myself. Me up. Proper shit me up. You say these lads are from the north. After Andy speak absolutely like they're from the north. Terrifying encounter with a lamp cord. The two guys laughed off and continued looking around. But not soon after, things take a truly creepy turn when they hear something absolutely unnerving coming from somewhere inside the building. Stop. Is there someone downstairs? I don't know. Oh, I'm just shooting. Oh, listen. Can you run in? Run in? I can. How can you, like, run in for you? What? He doesn't hear it? No. Ball boy's probably deaf as a bat. Mm hmm. May I speak? I just feel like he's down, down the either down there or downstairs. Oh, glitching. Can't you hear that? Oop. Really? He says, let alone. Where did that come from then? Looks like a Look at that! It's a Swiffer! <laughs> like a fan. No, it is a Swiffer. That's a bloody Swiffer there, man. No, no, it's a sponge on a stick. <laughs> it's like a duster sponge. You know, it's like yeah. one of those, like... Like it, it'd be up high. Also, mm -hmm. this assisted this assisted living, uh, you know, chair to get you up the stairs and everything. I've been in houses where I've had to uninstall that. Those things are fucking heavy. I can imagine. Is that blocking it off? Where's that? Where did that even come from? You need your first badge and learn cut. Go past that. I don't like it. I don't because wouldn't either, bro. It weren't, it weren't balanced on here, were it? It couldn't act. Just let me get here. I don't like how it's like that though. Now how it's landed. Matt and Andy hear what sounds like someone running downstairs. When they go back out into the hallway, an old broom is inexplicably thrown onto the staircase from somewhere. While trying to find an explanation for the terrifying event, a childlike voice can be heard whispering, It's me. I heard that. Oh. Don't like it, man. Don't like it, man. Don't Mario. Like it, man. So could it be that the two friends accidentally captured the spirits of the family who once lived there? You can watch this entire video. Hold on, hold on. So back when back before they looked down at before before uh, the broom is thrown. Yeah, right there. I want to see like, if there's anywhere like the broom is. No, the broom's not anywhere. I th I. Th I wanted to go back and look to see if it was like stood up here and then it fell over. But no, instead. Yeah, it's nowhere at all. There it is right there. And then when he goes downstairs and looks around, is there anywhere that someone that could throw that from behind the stairs down there? I, Where did that even come from? I don't know. I don't know. That's a. That's a creepy one. You can watch this entire video and many more creepy explorations through abandoned locations over on the YouTube channel, Binders Beepers History Seekers. I write that name a lot. To hell.
Gay oh, to isn't hell. that isn't that Gay reassuring? Awake by the oh yeah. Of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she uh -huh. jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. Oh, I see it. Mm hmm. Oh, I see it. I see it. Fuck no, dude. Call 911. Call 911 immediately. Don't Call go outside. Don't go outside, TikTok. you dumbass. Okay, she's getting a better flashlight. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, she started to go outside. I'm just be like, this bitch deserves to die. She deserves to be, to be, like, she deserves to wind up missing. Dude. Don't be stupid. Everyone out there, let this be a lesson. Don't. Be stupid. If you are in your home and you see someone creepy outside, first thing you do. Hello, 911. Yes, I have uh, someone who is outside my home. Uh, oh, yes, uh, my address is insert address here. And uh, yes, I am armed, just in case. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if they try to enter my home, I will shoot them. Okay, uh, don't worry if I hear the officers approaching. I will, uh, I will, no, I won't have my gun out whenever the officers arrive. Thank you. Okay, bye. Hey, fucker, the cops are on their way here. And if you come into my house, I got nine mil slugs with your name on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. but everyone out there who's just like, well, gun, it's like, guns are, like, one of your best ways of defending yourself. And if I had the opportunity, if... For every single mother out there, I would give them I would give them a gun and also give them proper training on how to keep it away from their kids and also give them proper firearms training. Just my thought. Yep. And in the in the words of John, I think Laj Lajori, Lazoe, whatever. John Lajoie. Guns yeah. Guns don't kill people. Uh uh. I kill people with guns. <laughs> this is true. That wasn't just a cat. And it stopped. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking person appears to be standing. It looks like a go like honestly, looking here frame by frame, it looks like he's got a goat like a goat skull mask oh. with like with like antlers. Oh. You see it too? Now I see. Oh no! Yeah, it's like a coat type of stuff. It, it also has like the little trench coat. Yes, and at that point, it's just like some cultists are trying to make a sacrifice out of me. That shit ain't happening. Mm -mm -mm. I'ma cut that mask right off your face. Yep. Assholes. Yep. 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 Just outside the garden fence. Yeah, I see it. Runs to grab a brighter flashlight, but when she returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, "Hello." As if in response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is. It remains unexplained. So nope. just a note here, unfortunately, we will not be taking any new Nuke Stop 5 merch orders in January. And I'm not sure what we're uh... going to do yet. And the reason is, thanks so much to all of you guys, because we got so many Christmas orders that we could barely handle it. Way more than I ever expected. So we have to take a break on new orders for 
a little while. So if you would like to order any Nukes Top 5 merch, please get your order in by December 31st, because then no new orders for a while. Summoning. God damn it! Well, we missed the boat on that. Oh well. Yeah. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team, Jeff, Phil, and Pete, set out to investigate the allegedly Imagine a imagine a ghost like a ghost team where it's like four people. We have Stan, we have Mike, we have Evan, and then we have Vladimir. It's like <laughs> and they always got that fourth member that's got it like it. It's like it's like we got we got Jeff, Mike, Phil, and Raul. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, the dynamic. I could see, I could just see that. It was just like I would have that be the hilarious thing. It's just like, or it, or it'd be like three, like three, na three names that are just like we have Vladimir, Raul, we have a uh, Josephi, and then we have Bob, <laughs> and Ken, and Ken. <laughs> God, I could just see that. That'd be, that'd be too good. I'll watch that uh, 100%. Yeah, I would too. Haunted Stanley Halls in South Norwood Hill, London, England. Stanley hmm. Halls was designed and built in 1903 by successful British inventor William Ford Robinson Stanley. Although a man of science, William Stanley was always intrigued by the paranormal. Mm. It is said that William performed a total of 13 seances to contact the dead and obtain insights into the future. Oh, 13 too. Wait, the hold on. And obtain insights into the future. So you're telling, so it's like, huh, didn't realize they were all Jewish. That's, <laughs> that's Hebrew. Sure. A series of seances that took place. Um, they were him using the communication with spirits to predict the future see what was going to happen and use it as a way to look at um, basically what the improvements of mankind would be over the next 50 years. William Stanley passed hmm. away from a heart attack in 1909, but Stanley Hall still stands today and is now a community center for the arts. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team is told that many workers and visitors claim to have heard or seen the spirit of William, so the investigators attempt to make contact with his ghost. They set up several static cameras Why you throughout do the that? building and then sit down at a table in the main hall stage area. They ask the ghost of William to join them at the table. What happens next catches them all by surprise. Who was that? Hmm. Who, who was that? Mm hmm. It was something moved here. Don't look at me, bro. It, was it you, Peter? Mm. Well, it certainly wasn't me because I have my elbows on the table like this. And I'm sitting here like this, holding the digital recorder. I haven't moved. Mm. As you can see, none of us move, and we feel the vibration go through the table. A loud bang can be heard, and the three investigators all question if one of them accidentally hit the table. But as we can see in the video, no one hit the table. At least, no one we can see. Yeah. Who was that? Who, who was that? It was something moved here. Throughout the night, the team continuously hears unexplained movement and voices but none of it compares to what they capture on their static camera pointed at the main hall stage. Oh, area. I see it. While the investigators- Oh no, that's them setting up. I was, I was yep. like, oh, I was like, oh shit. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> what happens? Mm. Oh. A dark figure is caught on static camera one and the investigators have no idea who or what this could be. Is it possible that they made contact with the ghost of William Stanley? Let me know what you think. Mm. You can watch this two-part investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. An unrestful stop. Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night. 
but there will be no sleep this night. He experiences mm. something truly bizarre. So you can hear stuff out here. I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop. Oh, your window and, up. Uh, I don't know. What the hell is that? I hear it's like it. a whale. It's a ghostly whale. Wolf? No. Don't tell me it's another skinwalker incident, man. What the absolute f is it? That's so way too loud. Stuff like a you siren. Isn't real? I don't even want to stick my arm out the window. I'd roll my window up. Yep. Thesis? A loud animal like whale can be heard coming from the woods right in front of Danny's park truck. Danny believes he might have captured the sounds of a Bigfoot. Now it should be hey. noted here that Danny has Maybe. never posted anything related to the paranormal on his TikTok, which makes this creepy footage that much more believable. Also, others Damn. say that they've heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, real or not. I leave that to you to decide. Spirits. Dang. If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, you might remember TikTok user Josiah Worley. Josiah experienced and recorded multiple paranormal experiences in his home in Minnesota. And was also Minnesota. sort of known for his unhealthy lifestyle, as he hmm. was usually drinking in his videos. For some stupid reason. My phone went from 30% to 5%. So I'm going to take a shot. Okay. We're flex, but okay. Do something. Ooh, what the... <sighs> As I was getting ready to leave, my phone... Almost died. Um, okay. Shh, what the f What happened to the light? Mm. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna go grab everything that I possibly f can. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try me, bro. What's good? <laughs> My man drunk, so he's ready to fight a ghost. Yeah, no one in there. I'm not a bitch. At least I didn't think I was. But I'm starting to progressively become more scared. Oh, he's breaking down. <laughs> and then the tip. Yeah, so I, if, if I experienced enough of that shit, I'd eventually, like, after I could see, like, after taking some drinks or some stuff and seeing some weird shit like that, I'd just be like, I'd be like, Yep. Just like start pouring it out. Just like. Are you going to hear from me on my end? Hear something like my, my, my door closes? That's it. You're going to start <laughs> hearing that. You're like, all right. All right. Who fucking with me? Who 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 fucking with me right now? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a no. That's a negative. Negativo. Attempt to escape the extreme paranormal activity in his apartment. Josiah moved to a new city with his girlfriend, and he also began to try to improve his bad health habits. Good. But, as you might have guessed, 
Whatever was haunting Josiah seems to have followed him to his new home. I just got off of FaceTime with uh, my friends Bree and Liz, and they were saying that something was in the f***ing hallway. No, it's in the kitchen. My f***ing chair is moving. It's... It's straight up moving. I don't... Nope. Maria. Josiah starts to become unnerved by the strange activity and slowly oh, too. starts to return to his bad habit of having an occasional drink. One night, Josiah is boiling water in the kitchen when something happens that shocks him to his core. Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little f***ing knife container. Thing. Oh! No. No. Yeah. No. Is this all good? Mm. This is getting dangerous, bro. You're gonna cut yourself. You need to be careful. No. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Actually, I'm. Oh, what the f just happened? Right in front of my face. Sh no. You're not gonna wash that off, bro? It's a regular old fing knife container thingy. <laughs> Butcher's no, block. Oh, it's not. I just want, I'm not even hungry anymore. A kitchen knife <laughs> flies off the knife block and lands with the point buried in the floor. Whew. Josiah is absolutely shocked and says he has no idea what this dark poltergeist could be. I don't know. to follow him from place to place. At least but wash it, that off. Let me know what you think. That's true. He probably has an item that has haunting. Wash the tip. This next creepy video is a bit of a mystery. It was posted That's a tip for everyone out there. Years ago. Wash your tip. That has no other yep. info than the strange name Freeze Dave Ram. So YouTube user Freeze him. Dave Ram explains that he occasionally hears strange Stop noises him. in his home in Hungary, but he says he never really thought much about it. Then one night he's practicing some music on his keyboard. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Wow. Ooh. That oh. no. Keyboard. This is very. Wait, the lights off. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Nah. Ooh, voice. It's a fucking TV. Shit. And the TV off. around the house fall and some even seem to be thrown a TV malfunctions in a truly unnerving way and a door slams shut 
The musician mm. just makes a run for it, and the video mm. abruptly mm. ends. But that's not all, because did you see it? Yeah, the Someone in the corner appears to be standing in the shadows of the living. I was right. Ah, uh, yeah. Freeze Dave Ram doesn't even see it. So could this dark ominous figure be the cause of this terrifying activity? Maybe. Or is this 13-year-old YouTube video just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The shadowy shepherd. This next creepy video was captured by Twitter user Eldar Glorfindel. Eldar says that he and his friends were about to head home after spending a day at the beach in the city of Niteroy, Brazil. They spot a lone goat trotting down the street. So Eldar decides to take a quick video of the goat to share with his friends on social media. That is a joke. Mm. But his friends are shocked when they spot something that Eldar did not see. Qual é, mano? Do nada um bode, mano. Um bode, do nada. So oh. watching Eldar and his friends from the shadows. Eldar is baffled and swears that he and his friends didn't see anyone standing there at the time. But whoever or whatever it is, the goat does seem to take notice. So what do you think is going on here? Let me know down in the comments. Don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. Do nada. Um bode, mano. Um bode, do nada. Smiling Jack. A paranormal investigator that goes by the name Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the Roselawn Cemetery in Roseville, Minnesota. Now for years, local police would receive frantic phone calls from cemetery visitors who claimed to see a terrified man who was trapped inside one of the graveyard's mausoleums. But no matter how many times police rushed to the cemetery to check it out, they never found anyone. The mausoleum was always locked and empty. Local legend began to say that this man was a trapped spirit inside the mausoleum. They called him Smiling Jack, named after a picture of a smiling man found inside the mysterious mausoleum. Investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter scouts the cemetery for hours in the middle of the night, hoping to find any signs of Smiling Jack. He almost gives up, but then he decides to take some photos of the inside of the mausoleum. Uh. He captures is downright chilling. Mm, it's gonna be one of these that's gonna have something on it. Oh! Ooh. Whoa. What the f Oh my god. It's gone. Oh my god, dude. I just caught a face. Holy Oh my god. Dude, I just caught a face in there. Oh my god. He is hyped. Smiling face can be seen in one of the photos and investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter is absolutely shocked by the capture. I would but be too. He's not ready to leave just yet. So he Of course he's not. Smiling nope. Jack some questions. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Jack. If you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. Tap on it just like this. I don't know, guys. It seems like he's gone. <gasps> Smartest thing you've done all video, bro. <laughs> for one night. So could it be that the stories of Smiling Jack are true? Could there be a spirit Maybe. eternally trapped inside the mausoleum? Let me know yeah. what you think. You can watch this and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Return to the basement. Return ago, to the Mac. Popular urban explorer once again. Return of the mind. That is. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill experienced what he says was one of the most terrifying moments of his life as he had a disturbing paranormal encounter inside a 100 year old abandoned factory in Cleveland, Ohio. Did you hear that? Hmm. That was loud. 
Ah, oh. Oh. Oh shit. It has two eyes too. It's looking at it's looking at the can and it's gone. Oh. Come on. Come on, man. I left him. To this day, Crystal says that he has no idea what happened to him on that horrible night. But he's determined to find out. So against his better instincts, he decides to go back. Of course he like does. To the middle of the night. Yeah. Like he decides to go. It, 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 this is like Alpha Grizzy. This is if Grizzy <laughs> was like was like fully worked out and had his hair straightened and all that. Cut to and hunts ghosts. Yeah, ghost hunting Grizzy. I like them into that. Could you could you hear Grizzy screaming down a hallway? Just like. I just hear him screaming. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the guys are on the outside of the building. There's like, we better go get him before he gets lost. Come on. Of the night, mm -hmm. he sneaks back down into the basement where he had his previous terrifying encounter. It did not go well. Very early into his exploration, and Chris is checking out an old room where he thinks he heard a strange sound. He doesn't exactly catch what it was. But many of his viewers did. Listen carefully. It's a weird noise in this room. Oh, I heard it. Barely heard it. Did you hear it? When the audio is enhanced, a strange male voice can be heard whispering. But what it seems to be saying can't be understood. It's a weird noise in this room. I heard that, yeah. That's crazy. Like a groan. Yeah. But it gets worse. Oh, of so course it does. Incident, mm -hmm. Things take a terrifying turn. Bones are still there. Bones. Oh, man. It's nasty. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is that? Whoa. Whoa. He fast. He moved fast for a big man. My man still with it too. Where was he with school fights? I don't know. Oh, I see something. I think Some I see something. Object falls or is thrown onto a grate just above Chris's head. In a panic, he rushes upstairs to check the area to try to find the culprit. There's no one there. But meanwhile, an infrared camera that Chris has set up in the basement records something truly chilling. Oh, I see it again. It's the entity. Uh. It's the same entity as last time. A white translucent figure can be seen walking across the basement. Now Chris has no idea what this infrared camera has captured. And he decides to just wow, that's a break. smooth. He sits down and starts scrolling through his phone. And what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Without warning, Chris is pushed backwards by some invisible force. He falls to the floor and is knocked unconscious for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? He quickly grabs Dude. his equipment and just gets out of there. Yeah. Now, this...
Yeah, that right there, that's... Like, I don't see any cutting or juddering. Like, that's a legit hit. He might have had something pull, like, pull on his back. I... I don't know, but this right here, this is... This clip is especially impressive as Chris is a pretty big guy. Yeah. But he seems to go flying backwards with intense force. Chris later says that the fall was so hard that both his camera lens and phone screen were broken. He says that he will never, ever go back to that place again. Damn. Bro. Exploration with even more spooky moments that I didn't show here. Over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Bro. For a big man like that to get just thrown around like that? God dang, dude. Whew. Late one evening, Reddit user Get the Bass is home alone, recording a video uh -oh. of his brand new aquarium tank and uh -oh. fish to post to Instagram. But he spots uh -oh. something. Truly Say no loss. Bizarre. Uh oh. Say no loss. Uh oh. Uh oh. You uh. Hold on. Let me make. Let me. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. I think the internet just decided that it was like. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Not sure, but. Anyway. Yeah. That was pretty pretty creepy. Like losing that was signal weird. like that. But. Anyway, I guess uh, let's finish up with this video. Here we go. All right. Of hand. A Late magician. Morning, Reddit user Get the Bass is home alone, recording a video of his brand new aquarium tank and goldfish to post to Instagram. Mm -hmm. But he spots something truly bizarre. How oh, bizarre? Got some new How bizarre? Fish. Pretty big tank as well. There's currently two black ones, two gold ones. Uh, I've called them Goldie. Goldie number two. Uh, the black one, and I, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for names, that. Whoa! What the fuck? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. A mysterious hand can be seen quickly moving away from the tank. But when Reddit user Get the Bass runs around the corner, there's no one there. Get Nothing. the Bass says that at first he was worried that someone might have broken into his house. But he didn't hear any footsteps running away, and after a search, he didn't find anyone inside. One thing Get the nope. Bass is correct about, though, is the lack of other footsteps. Because even when the audio is boosted and enhanced, the only footsteps that can be heard are his own. Listen closely. What the? F what the? F yeah. Yeah, nothing outside of him. The bass says that he's heard and seen other odd things in his house. So could this hand belong to someone or something that haunts his home? Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Lately, my upload schedule has been Hi. Uh, Yeah. Criminy, dude. Hi, uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's just... Oh, dude. I don't know what to make. Like, just... Just seeing that, just... Like, were that... Was that there from the very beginning? Like... No. That's what... Like, let me see. No, it I is was. there from the very beginning. Truly. Bizarre. Yeah, right there. It's there. Yeah, I guess from I never the noticed it. Beginning. I, no, I didn't either. He didn't until much later either, and then it just it. disappears. Yes, no, it slowly crept away. Uh, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for names, that what the fuck? Yeah, gone, dude. I don't know. I really don't know. That's. <clears throat> It's creepy, dude. It's creepy, nonetheless. Jesus. So, yeah, that was uh, Nuke's top five. I mean, what is there to say other than just, like... Not... Not... Not, um, not me. Not today. Nope. Yep. 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 I ain't having that.
Yep. Homie don't homie don't play that. Yep. Peace out. Nope. Mm. Yep. Fairly well. I shall see you sometime down the line. Hopefully never again. <sighs> that well that, that, that's the one before. That was intense. <clears throat> oh, the one with the dude getting just like pushed down, like the big dude just Man. That's terrifying, because, you know, someone that big getting getting just knocked out like that for 10... Dude, the fact that he got knocked out, too, I hope that I hope that if he did get knocked out, it didn't result in a concussion, because... True. You know, that shit, that shit, like, I, like I've had one, you know, I've had, like, one from on the back of my head, in the back of my, like, when I got pelted one time, but, yeah, I would say, uh, I would hope that he gets, he gets, like, someone to look at that and make sure he's neurologically still fine, but... Mm-hmm. The fact that that happened on a ghost hunt, I mean, if he would, if he legitimately did that and he hurt himself on act, like, if, like, okay, let's look at it from the skeptical side and let's look at it from the uh, the believer side. Skeptical side, I mean, it's just like okay, uh, he either had something pull him back, you know, like like someone on the other side of the wall, just literally just like oh, just like pull him through back and you know on his back. And then he, like, he acts knocked out for ten minutes. Or the, or, you know, the real side, the realist side of me is just like, oh, damn. If, if, like, how much, like, force does this, does this entity exert in order to knock someone like that over? Yeah, just with that size. Yeah, is he a big dude? I mean, I'd like to meet that guy in real life, see how big he actually is, because, you know, me, I'm a big old boy, I'm like six... I'm like six two. I weigh about three hundred pounds, and I, I think I, I think I consider my like most people consider me like a big guy, but I don't know like if I would like I, I, I don't know where I consider myself. But <laughs> needless to say, um, well, this is a, a video about scaring fat men off of a roof. So, <laughs> so uh, the the scariest ones in this, I would say, are definitely the gate to hell where you see the entity you know, standing outside of her fence, and you can see that it's the, it's got the mask with the horns and everything. That one was terrifying. This one, uh, you know, not so much, you know, the Ford house, uh, the rest stop, the noises that you hear out in the woods. If Mm -hmm. I heard that, I am rolling up my window, locking both my doors, and I am just, like, sitting back in my cab and I'm like arm, I'm like arming myself, and I'm like I'm gonna try and get some sleep, but I don't think I'd be able to sleep if I heard that. Yep. If I was outside, Same. if I was out in a tent in the middle of the wilderness, and I heard that, no, no, yep. I would immediately just like pack everything up. Yep. And if go. I had to, if I had to abandon the tent, fine. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I hundred percent agree. That one, and then uh, let's see. This dude here, you know, he he had some pretty scary stuff happen to him, Josiah. Uh, and then, of co- oh, the knife, yeah, that one, that's the scariest part of his story. And then, of course, you know, you look here. This one, whether it's real or not, it was very, very, like, intense. scary all the way through and very intense. Things that were noticed uh, throughout. Um, and then I would also say that... Uh, uh, the dude with the smiling, uh, you know, the smiling Jack was also mm-hmm. pretty, was pretty scary. But yeah, number two and uh, what looks like number nine, the gate to hell, are to me the two scariest ones out of this. Because I hardly agree. Yeah, I, that's that's how I feel on it. But no, taking nothing away from the first one, the first one has some pretty scary stuff in it as well. You know, but. The fact that it's just you see two fingers on the side of this thing and then just psh, they're gone. And now he says he's experienced other stuff, and that is pretty scary. But big man got knocked on his ass. Yeah, I'm sorry, big man got knocked on you know, flat on his ass and knocked out for ten minutes. That's pretty scary. Ugh. But all right. Anyway, everybody. So I think that's gonna do it. This was Nuke's top five, top ten scary ghost videos to scare fat men off the roof. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed, and if you want to see more from Nuke's top uh, top five, click your name in the title of the video. And if you want to see more from the one and only Sin Poppy, uh, feel free to uh, click his name in the title of the video, and also uh, click the links and annotations that pop up on the screen way over here on the right side of your screen. 
And also, you know, the link's in the description and probably in the comment section as well. It's all over the place. You can't miss it. So, until then, everybody, we'll see you. Peace. Peace. Peace.